Okay, here's a video I put together on the uh, prepositions pa and e. People uh, ask all the time, how, uh, when are you supposed to use these? You know, what are the rules? And I'll show you what the rules are for using these. I have some examples, uh, and I've been doing a lot of uh, research and cross-referencing on this. I figured you people might be interested in this. Uh, when I first learned these prepositions, I learned that pa means on, physically on something, and e means in. You know, along with all the other prepositions, you learn the simple physical uh, description of what they are. Uh, but it doesn't take long to to figure out that it mean they mean other things. Okay, um, here's an example of in and on. You know where they match that description. Gotori i in bola pobore. Okay. Candy in a bowl on the table. Great, you know it, it matches up. But then you know you see a see a sentence like this: uh, Pogova was over it. Okay, on the floor, in the bedroom. And the reason for this, it's paw. The reason it's paw is because of sofa room. And sofa room uses paw, and other rooms in the house will use e. And I, I'll show you that a little later in the uh, in this video. You'll see there's a I have a page with uh, the the breakdown of some of the different rooms in a house and the separate uh, prepositions that they use. But you know, it's actually easier than you think to remember because if you think about the articles for nouns, okay, you can remember them. Uh, they're not that hard to remember. So you remember uh, the prepositions that are used with the nouns the same way. You learn them one at a time and you kind of remember them. And as you use them, it gets reinforced and you become more confident in which one you're going to use. Uh, and you can even, it actually helps in making an educated guess. You know, Norwegians will forgive you if you mix these up to a, to a point. You know, you don't want to you don't want to mix mix them up too much, though. Or then all of a sudden, the conversation you're having in Norwegian will be gently steered back to English. You know, <laughs> it doesn't take much uh, to do that. And mixing up your prepositions is a good way to do that. You know, you, so here's an example uh, in a magazine. Jeg bladrer i et utgåblad. Ting jeg læser i avisen. Okay in a newspaper, in a book, information in a magazine. And it kind of works like that. Uh, but the title of a book would be Po Bukka, okay? Um, and, and commentar, Po Hans Facebook. So you just remember that, Po Hans Facebook. Uh, the commentar will, will be Po Hans Facebook. And it's really not that much harder to remember than it is to remember N, et, or A. For, for a noun, okay? And there are little rules, I guess, you know? I mean, titles would be described as paw on books, movies, and shows, and you wanna just learn it as you go. Um, it's, uh, a reply in the comments field, e commentar felt it. Um, and so you just, you just remember that. You learn it and you remember. You know, these examples that I have here are just a few of thousands. I mean, it's uh, it's basically up to you to learn them one at a time is, is the answer to what are the rules for using these, okay? Um, yeah, I said to priest pa, didn't comment Okay, said to priest pa is, a, is an idiomatic phrase or an expression, um, a, a, a phrase, a set of words that mean another thing, you know, all together and these are really important I, I like to highlight these in my flashcards to help me remember them because people use them all the time and you hear it on the radio you hear it on TV and people say it and then you start to say it and you know that then the language starts to jump to life uh, but in all honesty I, I don't think you can speak uh, Norwegian without knowing these uh, idiomatic phrases so they're very important to to learn and I have a I'm gonna put a live link to a page I found that has some on there so you, in case you're curious about uh, seeing a whole bunch of them at once otherwise I just learn them one by one you know and try to remember them and learn them all as one word sort of uh, so 
uh, e is used in uh, in these phrases as well. Isisteliten, isisteoyablik. That means the same thing. Yai um, glaridai. Okay, I am fond of you. All right, be careful with this one. Don't say that to everybody uh, because they might take it the wrong way. Um, but in any case, the point of this is that e is used in these phrases as much as pa is. Uh, so you just want to be on the lookout and, and remember them. Yai gor poyab, viskal poferia, hun var pochino, mormor ar pobingo, varnagor poskula, hanskal podate, di yik pofesten. Okay, and this uh, pa here can be a little bit different and it's a little easier to remember because for in cases like this you'll see like these people that went to the party they didn't just go to the party they went there to party okay um, grandma went to go play bingo she's participating in the bingo just like you when you go to school post school you are going there to learn at school. You're not just going to meet somebody in the parking lot. If you're going to do that, then you would be going till uh, school, you know, <laughs> to meet somebody. It would be very different, and so it's good to be aware of that. Uh, and it does separate pa a little bit. Um, go pa tour. Okay, that means go for a walk, or you might see go tour or go and tour, but go pa tour is very commonly used, and that means like to go for a walk or go for a hike, or it can mean a lot of different things. You want to look at the context of the the sentence that it's being used in um, for to to be more specific. You know, it could it, you'll see, but uh, in that case, it's go pa tour, and go means to walk, but you'll hear people say uh, go pa yab. But they're not really walking to work, you know. And if you really want to be specific and correct, you can say dro or raisa. I added this in because I just felt that it was important to add in. It doesn't really have anything to do with uh, pa, l, or e. But um, sometimes it's cool to just add a little extra information um, so you know about uh, the difference between go, dro, and raisa. Okay, that's so I just threw that in there. Uh, so let's divar e bilen ta entet e butikin hanvar e bankin. You always see e with bank. You know, you never really see pa bank. I and 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 that's how you, after a while you become familiar with it. Yif to say e kirkin ni valp e huset drive huset e hagen cast de e supla. You know, and these are all just. The way that's just the way it's used. That's the way it is. It's uh, e goes with these nouns. You don't see pa, and so it's up to you to kind of just remember it. Norwegians don't even think about it. They just use it because all their lives they've used it and they've repeated it. So, um, but since when you're learning a language all at once, especially as an adult, you need to you need to be aware of it first, then start to repeat it. So it becomes automatic and use it. Um, now here's a cool one. Uh, in the e, okay. In the e means inside, and in the po means inside. I didn't know that. So now you've got uh, you've got some prepositions and you combine them, and they mean the same thing, but the second preposition changes here. And so that's kind of neat to know about that. It's a very, very good thing to know. And uh, it just avoids confusion. That's what, what you want to do when you step aside, you step back, and you start to say, well, what are the rules? Well, here they are. And basically, it's a one-by-one one thing. And uh, people appreciate when you get this right, especially when you're speaking in a conversation, when you, when you know the difference and you can match it up. Um, it really, really is good to know. It's very, very important. Um, now, inside the house, I told you the different rooms. Here, posuva room, right? I stuin, i huset, i shellerin, i entrian, i dushin, i hollin. Pobada, posuvarum, polafta, poshikana, pogangan, povaskarum. It's almost always pa, almost always e for these different rooms of the house. 
and uh, you know, as I, I first when you're you become aware of it, and then uh, you use it, and after a while, like just like the articles, it becomes uh, so, something you don't even think about. At least, hopefully, it will. Um, okay, now when you you're describing time, and remember, these are just a few examples. Uh, Devar Potito, okay, that that is a uh, that's an Utrik, but it uses pa, okay, pa dentiden. There's a bestant form of that time, you know, very specific. Um, pa kortid, pa enstun, pa firadagar, pa langa, and pa firadagar actually means hasn't happened in four days. Uh, pa langa hasn't happened for a long time, whatever it is. Uh, but the the main point is you're using pa in all these cases, and uh, so you just remember that pa is really used there, and as time goes by, it becomes more natural to, to just say that. Um, and then now here's describing time using e, specifically with e. These are e in monad, e it or. You would use, you never really hear pa in monad. That's not right, you know. The e goes with this phrase, e or, that means this year. Idag today, Ifior, Igor, you see, and now here, this I'll just point out, um, Imorn uh, can mean tomorrow, and it can mean in the morning. So, if you're not sure and you really want to be, uh, you want to be really sure, you can say Imorgus, you know, Imorgus, this morning. Um, but usually, there again, it's the context that it's used in, it's sort of like. Uh, Tour, you know what I mean? If somebody, it wouldn't make sense tomorrow or in the morning, but be aware that those two, if you're not, if you didn't know this, it can be a little bit confusing. Um, and and the, the seasons of the year are described with E. They're not described with Pa. So you just kind of remember that. Try your best. Um, so this is the end of part one. <laughs> uh, if you have any suggestions or questions, leave them in the comment area and um, I'll include them in part two uh, any help from Norwegian speakers you know native speakers would of course is always welcome and those are I have f been finding very very good uh, comments from Norwegians about Norwegian language it's, it's fantastic so um, here are a few of the websites where I did cross-reference for the information in this video. Uh, and you can go there, and I'm going to put at least one live link in, uh, underneath in the description. So you can go directly there and just read it for yourself. Uh, uh, in any case, I hope this helps you, and um, until next time,